Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the organ instrument in the MPC key 61. Now the instruments in the MPC key, if you've heard me talk about them before, they're very similar to virtual instruments you'd have within your DAW. So think of it that way. Instead of having a bunch of categories of sounds like some workstations have, you've got instruments and inside each instrument, you've got categories of sounds. Well, in the case of the organ, we're going to tap on that here on our sound screen and we're presented with a bunch of presets. So we can go into any one of these categories or folders, tap on a preset, load it up. And we have preset sounds there all ready for us that we can go into. So let's tap on smooth B. This is every instrument kind of comes with a default preset. And if we go into edit instrument, we can see the different parameters we can adjust for this organ. One thing to note here is our modulation wheel controls our Leslie effect. And I'll talk about that here when we get to the amp tab. But here we have our draw bar control. So we can bring them back with our finger and it is multi gesture touch. So we could do a couple at a time. It doesn't work as well as I would like it to from like the multi-touch perspective could be my chubby fingers, but I prefer having like actual hardware draw bars, like the stage three compact that I have. I appreciate having the physical draw bars there. This works. Um, you can also use a Q link knob. So here we could use the Q link knobs to kind of adjust our uh, draw bars here. We could change banks, bring this back, do a little bit of a scoop there and our final one here. So a little bit of a pain to use a Q-Link knobs, but you could, they are assigned to them. So now we can go to the organ and we can actually go into tone wheel and we can pick a bunch of different uh, styles to this organ. You can hear the Leslie kind of going back and forth, even on the slow stage. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. We can change the volume and the key click percentage. And then we can go in and we can turn percussion off or on. And then we could go in and we could change the percussion mode as well. So vibrato scanner, we can adjust those settings here. So we could turn that on. So a lot of different settings that we can change for this organ here. On the amp page, we can actually change a ton of the settings around the rotary speaker effect or the Leslie effect here. So on these settings here, a lot of keyboards do give you the ability to change the rate uh, and, and those sorts of things. But this gives you an extra level of control here. You can turn effects on for this organ all within the plugin itself. Now, what's really cool about this is if you're recording, you can have the effects within the instrument itself plus for insert effects on your track. So depending on how you work this, you can actually use the effects within here for your delay, your reverb, your EQ, and it frees up some slots if you need to on your track. So again, we could tap on these to turn any one of these portions off. Doesn't sound very good that way, but here, We could obviously do it with our finger too. We could do it with a Q-Link knob, um, but I find the mod wheel a little easier. Could change the slow rate, the fast rate, the spread, the low high mod mix, 
And then we can even go in and do drive. And then on our delay reverb page, we have all of our settings for our delay and reverb. So as you can see, there's a ton of capability here to tweak this. Um, and what I really think it comes back to is, does it sound realistic? You know, does the organ on here, does it fit into the mix well? And I haven't used this live yet. Uh, I use my Nord Stage 3 live at church. And I will be doing a comparison video between this organ and the Nord Stage 3 organ because I'm really curious how they match up. I love the Nord Stage 3 organ. I think it sits in the mix really well. So to compare the two, I think will be a really fun video um, to just kind of see from a control perspective, from a customizability perspective, how the two compare. So be on the lookout for that video. Uh, let's go in and just check out a couple of these presets here. So we've got like some jazz ones. back, check out some gospel. You can tell that is a lot faster. on for days playing these and so what I'll be doing is coming out with a playing only video where I won't do any talking I'll just walk through all of the different presets that come with this organ instrument because these presets they've gone in and they've done all of the adjustments and the tweaking for these presets so it's a great starting point for you to jump in make a little tweak here and there and make it yours. So again, this is just a quick overview of the organ instrument. I hope this was helpful in giving you an idea of what the capabilities are, what it sounds like a little bit, but I did want to just show you this and kind of give you an idea of the customizability of this organ, the different settings, and then how some of the things sound, including the rotary speaker effect. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I need to side by side this with the North Stage 3 before I give my opinion on whether I like this or not. Standing by itself, I'm not sure if it sounds as realistic as the North Stage 3, but I will save my official opinion for when I do the comparison video. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions, throw those down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.